or you have a fertilizer, it's a graded fertilizer, uh, different values of different colors so with a um, uh, balance in the thing that we have first class to pass in nitrogen. Don't mind how slow I am because remember this job, uh, whatever you're protecting is, uh, is, 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 is a big investment. Nutrition is very key to all growing stages of every farm. From the first day the seeds germinate to the last day you go to the market. When you go to the market, that will reduce nutrition starts. Uh, because the, the, the seed or the plant development is in need of different nutrients at different stage. At a uh, seedling stage, after a germination, it needs different nutrients. At development stage, it needs different nutrients. At fruit or leaf formation, different nutrients. At maturity or ripening, it needs different nutrients. Uh, so, uh, so many farmers usually get that result or usually get it wrong uh, because they are unable to give the seedling the needed nutrient at the right time. Um, this is our continuation. This is our class that is continued, and um, I want to show you how I do my nutrient, uh, how I apply my fertilizers, because I usually do uh, the foliar spray. I've shared that with you uh, in our previous class, and also I also do the basal application of fertilizer. And for the basal application of fertilizer, it's fairly simple. You need first, you cannot come uh, broadcasting the fertilizers on the nursery uh, anyhow you feel like. You need an approach to make sure that the nurseries make good use of the fertilizer and the fertilizer because the seedlings are so young doesn't burn or doesn't bring the scorching effect to the residue. So it's supposed to be very really critical, it's supposed to be uh, something that means techniques and something that means a good approach because you may do the fertilizer and end up using all your seedlings. Uh, so it's very simple. Uh, we are going to start from these um, these first lines. Uh, as you can see, um, uh, it looks somewhat dry. We've not elevated it for uh, for a day. Uh, we wanted to give it space so that we can apply the fertilizer and do the irrigation. Um, when I usually fill two bunch with one stone, when applying fertilizer, it's also a a, 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 a an easy step also to do the weeding uh, because uh, the scratching I do on the ground is, is also good for for the crop or for the plant uh, and that as a weeding mechanism. So this is how I do it. So uh, this is how I do it, removing the weeds. So by doing this, this is making the trenches where I'm going to apply the fertilizer on both edges. You can do one side for both edges. So this is how I do it. And this is applicable on both the raised bed and the sunken bed. Sometimes if you do the ridges this way, uh, you may end up burying the, 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 the other ridges. So, it's good to do as you apply the fertilizer. As you can see, uh, we have a fertilizer. It's a, it's a, it's a breaded fertilizer. Uh, as you can see, it's a breaded fertilizer. Uh, different granules of different colors. Um, I've decided to do a fertilizer with um, a balanced NPK. That is a, a phosphorus, potassium, and and uh, nitrogen because uh, at this stage we need much of phosphorus but um, I've decided to do that. Also some calcium in it to give the seed the strength. So that's why you see my fertilizer is, is well breaded. So uh, by applying the fertilizer we do it just a few grams. Don't overdo it. And make sure it's it's not touching the the the, the seedlings. 
I may end up killing the seedlings, so that's how I do it. I may not give the exact amount of fertilizer that I'm, I'm using for this uh, this nursery, uh, but uh, as you can see, I'm not doing a lot of it, and I'm not underdoing it. So it's a simple. It's as simple as that. Again, simple as that. Make sure all the fertilizers. Well, is well uh, done and uh, just to remind you uh, make sure the fertilizer is not touching the leaves of the seedlings this is to avoid scorching this is to prevent scorching of the of the seedling leaves so it's as simple as that it's as simple as that uh, if you don't grade your fertilizer like the one that I've, I've done, you can uh, use a simple NPK, uh, 23 with high phosphorus and uh, and uh, and nitrogen because that all these young seedling is in indoor. Don't don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Eh? Fertilizer. Yeah, make sure that your fertilizer is well covered. And also, the good thing about the fertilizer that I'm using today, uh, the fertilizer itself is uh, soluble. It's water soluble fertilizer. So, uh, the uptake of the fertilizer on uh, by these seedlings will be very ideal. It will be very ideal. so. How this is how I do it, and uh, you can like, like I told you, you can uh, do it in trees. You can you can uh, uh, do it as a forest spray, or you can also do it a uh, basal basal application of the fertilizer. You do the basal application of the fertilizer. And it's as simple as this as you do the video. It's as simple as this. Don't mind how slow I am because you remember this job, uh, whatever you're protecting here is a. Uh, is it, it's a big investment yes it's a big investment so uh, we need to do it with a lot of caution and with a lot of uh, with a lot of care because if you don't you may end up losing all your siblings also this this was another side uh, another method of uh, making sure that your siblings are huge you've uh, eased the soil around the stem of the seedling so the water uptake will be very very good water uptake will be very 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 good and very easy for me so those who are doing their seedlings back at home, then we do the application of the fertilizer. And uh, this is the continuation of our training. I've showed you how to break the seed dormancy, how to achieve this good germination. Yeah, you don't need to run and buy expensive seedlings while you can plan and uh, and do your your fertilizers and do your your seed drinks sorry and do your seed drinks you can have a good plan and do your seed drinks and make sure that uh, your seed drinks are in on the hal hal good as a hal as a good because there is no need to fail or there is no room to fail with me share all these experience and all this training class with you this is 
to better your farming. This is to better trees in the farming. Yeah, because somebody thinks that if it's not buying the seedlings, I'm not going to get into farming. Yes, if, if, if you don't have time, if you don't have professionalism, if you are not ready to adopt my system, you can buy seedlings. There is no problem. It's, it's good also to, to do healthy seedlings. But, this, remember the, uh, our biggest move or our biggest secret is to, to have um, the cheapest farm produce in the market. And the more you increase your cost of production, the more you will be competitive in the market. You will be able to have profit more. So, if you do some of these things in your farm, you are going to get good profit. Hence, be a better farmer. Somebody asked me, uh, is farming profitable? And my answer is, we have a day that we are not going to hit. If there is a day we stop hitting, farming will stop being profitable. Or farming will not be profitable. If uh, the feeding, the AI, the AI world replaces feeding with something else. I think farming will be, will be at risk. So don't ask whether farming is profitable. You look at your kitchen, look at yourself, your, your feeding routine, and get the answer there. Farmers, you want to be profitable, you need to be strategic. I'm sharing all the strategies with you to make you a good farmer, to make you a profitable farmer. Mechanism culling every day, weeding, having the seed drinks, applying the fertilizers. Three in one, four in one. So we need that of the limited here, so we keep we remove them now. So, it's applying the fertilizer is as simple as that. That's our first step. And uh, from applying the fertilizer, we go to the next step, which is uh, uh, the covering. We apply the fertilizer cover. Then, after that, don't leave your fertilizer uh, or your farm unregulated because irrigation is very key. And we are going to, if you leave it the way it is, you may end up scorching your seedlings because you don't know. Which fertilizer at a start here, so you need to do the irrigation.
after the fertilizer, the irrigation, you can see the crops themselves are very happy with whatever they've received. Uh, though they have not started taking the, nut the nutrient, I know the nutrient uptake will be maybe from tomorrow or in two days' time. Uh, we are going to continue with a shade of irrigation like you've seen. We've changed our irrigation system in no longer doing the fallow. So the sunken bed is not of importance to, to us. We are using the override irrigation and that is what we are will be doing. Uh, precaution that we should take as a farmer uh, uh, when you're doing irrigation, observe the time that you're irrigating your seedlings. Don't do it late in the evening. Uh, it's better to do it very early in the morning so that uh, you are your, your, your crops can enjoy the water during the day and also in the at night it will not be very uh, wet because the wetness blinks in, dumping off blinks in fungal diseases and blinks in a lot of problems uh, to the seedlings. So that's all for, for our lessons, fertilizer lessons application uh, for now. We will look forward for more training because this, this is a continuation. Uh, if you have not watched our previous videos, you could check, uh, watch them so that you can continue learning. If it's your first time you're watching us, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is where your things are, this is where your learning is, this is where you're going to get everything that you need from family.